Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to update our Moodle. And we're going to update it in just five commands. Uh, but before we get to that, I'll just a quick note on uh, the releases and the release structure of what, we're, what kind of updates we're actually going to do. So Moodle has three numbers in each version, in each release version. And these are, first of all, there's uh, the big three at the very front. In, at the moment, we're on 3.11, right? So the big three at the front is basically the era. Uh, but anyway, three point something, the second number, when the second number changes, that indicates that it's a major release, uh, that the major um, things are changing, big, big time things are changing. So this is the one that you have to be really careful about, and it only happens twice a year. Uh, but in the major releases, you may find that uh, for example, PHP requirements have increased or um, the SQL database needs to be upgraded or something like that. So these ones you have to be a little bit careful of when you're going from 3.10 to 3.11, etc., etc. But the next ones are the, the minor releases, and this is that 3.10 point something or other. And that minor point releases happen uh, basically uh, each second month, um, unless sometimes, you know, they an emergency one gets pushed out. Uh, if there's a particularly bad bug or something that is found or a vulnerability that is found, that we want to patch that quickly. So uh, they sometimes come up fairly quick, uh, fairly um, more frequently than that. But this is basically what they target uh, for. The point releases, minor point releases, are fairly good to actually do just ever as they come out, and uh, these are actually pretty easy to do. You just go in and you do you get pull pretty much what we're going to do today will be fine for any minor point release. The five commands that I'm talking about today will do uh, minor point releases no problems. And then the uh, the next one that we're actually going to do is the really really minor builds which essentially get upgraded every week and you don't really have to do it but if I come in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about here uh, every week, basically, uh, the the Git uh, repository for Moodle uh, has all of the the week's work pushed to it. So it's it's updated weekly. Moodle is, and so if we come into what am I trying? Why am I in server? I shouldn't be there. And come into the notifications page. It'll show us what the build is. So this is our version number here, three point eleven, and in another month or so, there'll be three point eleven point one will appear. And then there's build 2021-0517. It's now, um, today, as of this recording, is a June 8th. So I'm expecting that this build, there would be an updated build that I can actually upgrade to. If I check for available updates, oh, you can see that today's date is here. Yeah, so this, your Moodle code is up to date. And it says that it's up to date because there are no actual, not even a minor point release. So what we're doing to upgrade now is the, uh, the, the, the build. We're not even upgrading to an, the next point release at the moment. So it's really as minor as an upgrade comes. So you might say, okay, well, what's the point? Um, there, you know, what's the point in updating is, and there isn't that much, but because we're on Git, it is super simple, five commands. So here we go, five commands, the first command, um, so you log into your server, and I am logged in here, and then you cd, you change directory to the path to your Moodle. You go to where your Moodle code is, the uh, www root. So in my case, that's going to be slash srv slash Moodle and slash www. That's where I want to be. So now I'm in the right directory. Right? Uh, if I do an ls, you can see that this is where all the Moodle code is hanging out. Nice to see you. Right, uh, the LLS is not required. It's not one of the five commands, actually. But let's move on to the next one. Now, in order to be a little bit cautious, what you really should do is um, change the uh, uh, change the Moodle's mode so that maintenance mode is actually on. And whoops, that's wrong. Uh, I had the wrong command copied to the wrong command uh, copied to the clipboard. Oh well. 
sudo dash u www.data. Um, this is switching the user to the web server user. So this part just does that. Then the web server user is going to activate PHP and run the maintenance dot php script in uh, admin slash cla slash maintenance dot php and then what it's going to do is it's going to give the argument enable to maintenance uh, dot php and what that does is that uh, enables maintenance mode um, just a second need a password for sudo and now we're in CLA maintenance mode now CLA maintenance mode is a little bit more powerful than uh, non CLA maintenance mode so if I just move this out of the way and now let's go to the dashboard oh, oh my goodness wait a minute though why is cat mode under maintenance but I'm an admin so shouldn't I be allowed in well CLA maintenance mode is as I said just before more powerful than um, than uh, standard uh, web interface maintenance mode in that it really prevents all web access. And actually, if we uh, go back and let's try running cron.php. Again, running cron.php like this is not really required. This is just for demonstration purposes. But you can see that here we have CLI maintenance mode active cron execution suspended. So you might recall from the upgrade videos that I did earlier uh, that sometimes at the end of an upgrade it'll say cron has not run in more than five minutes or something like that. That's because when you put it into um, admin, one of the reasons for that anyway is when you put it into maintenance mode, it will suspend the running of cron. So um, that's pretty useful anyway. Uh, it's useful because it means that, okay, nobody can access it, not even cron can access it, which makes it incredibly safe to upgrade like this. So this is why you want to do this. this. So anyway, um, we've done that. Two second command is now done and we're now in maintenance mode. So now we're in the right directory where maintenance mode is engaged. So now we actually get the code. So git pull. And this is where the magic really happens because git pull will now update all of the Moodle code in my Moodle www root and completely. And you can see when it does this sort of a, a gobbledygook thing with a, a whole bunch of uh, files that have been changed and the changes, and it's actually describing um, what code has been removed and what code has been added, etc. when there are additions or uh, subtractions. These are all the files that have been changed over the past couple of weeks. So, once it's done that, and it's even created a few extra files. So there are a few new files actually in this particular build. So anyway, uh, now that we've done that, the git pull has actually uh, updated it. And if we actually run it a second time, you'll see that if you are completely up to date, even with the latest build, already up to date is what happens when you run git pull. Okay, um, anyway, moving on because we have two commands to go and we'll be done. The next command is to run upgrade.php. Now, similar to uh, cron.php, but this one, upgrade.php, oops. This one actually is like visiting the notifications page after you do it, if you were to do it on, um, on the, through the web interface. But upgrade.php has a slight advantage over that. Uh, I will type yes, it'll ask me what I want to do. And the advantage, of course, being that uh, there are no timeouts on the command line, but there are timeouts on uh, some web servers when you're actually going through the web interface. So, um, and it's, it's usually not a problem, but why risk it? Uh, just do it if you're going in and git pull in anyway, it's, it's right there, the command line is right there. Okay, and now you can see that that is completed. Command line upgrade from 3.11, 3 to 3.11 plus. Okay, so we've got this plus here, which basically means that we've gone a little bit ahead of 3.11. Not as far, not far enough to get to 3.11 and 0 .1, 3.11.1. We're not quite there yet, but we have changed it. And the build number here is coming up um, to uh, 2021-0604, and that's going to be our new build number. Uh, you can see that this is our old build number over here, by the way. 
So that's for May 17th. And now we're up to date with uh, June 4th, the June, June 4th, 4th of June uh, build. Okay, so, ah, uh, great, let's go and uh, check it out. Oh no, we can't, why can't we, why can't we? Well, because we're still in maintenance mode. So remember that we uh, put it into maintenance mode before. So that's why the fifth thing we have to do is now go back to maintenance mode, but this time instead of enabling it, we gotta disable it. So we've gotta undo the maintenance mode thing that we did before. And that'll return the, um, uh, the uh, Moodle to a usable state. So it's really simple. You just take the same maintenance.php command and instead of enable, disable. And that's it. Maintenance mode has been disabled. The site is running normally again. Okay, let's move it out. Let's check it out. Is that actually true? We come in here, we have our Moodle. Well, looks like it's running normally again. Okay, let's go to site administration and let's go to notifications. And on the notifications, whoa, Moodle code is up to date. We've still got that message coming up. Uh, we do have this. There is six minutes between the last two runs of the cron maintenance script. That's because we put it into maintenance mode, right? So the last two runs would have taken six minutes. And from now on, it will take, uh, it'll happen every minute. So this is something that we can ignore. Um, this only happened because we put the site into CLA maintenance mode. And if we scroll down here, this is the main attraction. This is what we came here to do. Uh, 2021 0604. We're now on the latest build, Moodle 3.11 plus. Okay, so that's all it is for uh, updating your Moodle. Uh, you can use this procedure, as I said before, to update every single time there's a minor release. Uh, so it's not at all painful and uh, you should enjoy doing it. It's, it's, it feels good to be on the latest code. So, uh, so that's it for this video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and I uh, hope this is somehow useful to you and I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you.